I'm here at the River Ousel in Milton Keynes, a river that should be teeming with salmon and trout. But recently, that's all changed. The key to this change can be seen in the colour of the river. It should be running crystal clear, but more recently, it's an opaque brown as a result of the fine sediments suspended in the water. These fine sediments inhibit the fish's ability to feed, they give them health problems such as irritating their gills, and more crucially, when they settle, they compact into all the fine spaces between the gravel that the fish need to lay their eggs in to reproduce. So, what's changed? The answer lies within these burrows. In the 1970s, American signal crayfish, small freshwater lobsters, were introduced to the UK for aquaculture, but have since escaped their holding pools and colonised almost every river system throughout Great Britain. Signal crayfish have huge impacts towards the ecosystems. They're carriers of crayfish plague, which are wiping out our native crayfish populations. They're voracious predators of fish eggs, and perhaps worst of all, is their penchant for burrowing. Crayfish burrow almost continually, in order to hide, in order to raise their young, and even to store food in. If you're walking your dog along a small British river and can see burrows about the size of a toilet roll tube, the chances are it's home to a signal crayfish. Now, not only do these burrows recruit vast amounts of sediment into the river channel, but they also undermine the banks themselves. And only last year, the wall of an Oxford University building collapsed as a result of crayfish burrowing into their foundations. In their native habitats in North America, signal crayfish don't burrow. So what is it that's causing them to burrow into these British river banks and cause such severe problems? At the moment, that's something that we just don't know. <laughs>